when working with dailies, sometimes the audio files that are delivered may include multiple channels. Usually uh, one channel is the master mix, and many times the other channels are individual ISO mics that were recorded during the scene. Uh, usually an editor only wants to work with the master mix for the majority of the edit, but needs the ability to match frame back to those individual microphones. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a multicam file that has multiple audio channels and reduce those down to make the editorial process simple, but also show you how to match frame back and get those individual microphones when you need them. In this example here, I've got my A camera and my B camera for the shoot, and uh, these multicams were made using the original ISOs, which have somewhere between four and six channels of audio. Looks like this one currently has four or five channels. Now, I want to be able to go back to that, but I don't want to have to deal with all five channels dropping into my timeline on a on a clip by clip basis, or all four channels dropping into my timeline on a clip by clip basis. You'll notice right now that I have this this clip loaded up in the source monitor. You'll notice that my track targeting selection shows that I've got my V1 track, and then I've got A1 through A4 listed here. So uh, for each and every one of these multicams, I would have to come in here and turn off the track targeting for A1 through 4. If I want to keep my timeline really nice and neat and maybe only have two tracks of audio, um, I'm going to have to create these additional tracks just to be able to turn off these buttons here. So it's a nice thing to note that you do have the ability to kind of pare this down within the multicam files themselves, but I'll show you how you can easily go back in and match frame into the, uh, the source audio. So what I'm going to do here, first off, let me just reveal this particular multicam in the project here. So we have it selected. And what I can do is by right clicking on this, I have the option of going in and modifying the audio channels. And by doing this, I can set the number of audio channels that uh, I have within the file here. So I'm just going to change this to one. We just want the first microphone typically. If the first mic wasn't the one that was the one that I want to use on a regular basis, maybe a microphone number four is the better mic. I could just select it using the little check boxes here. Once I do this, um, it now no longer thinks of this as a four channel or a five channel file. It thinks of this as a single channel. So now if I take and I insert or overwrite this into my sequence, let me go ahead and do that here it only drops in the first track. Now, if I need to go back and get to any of the additional tracks, all I need to do is double click on the audio waveform. So let's say I'm playing this back and right here, he accidentally taps the microphone. So we need to cut in a different audio track. All I have to do is double click. This will take me inside of the multicam and then select any of the audio tracks and match frame and by doing that, it's going to take me to the exact same location um, that I was currently cutting in the other sequence. So now I can go back to sequence one and I can choose between A1, two, three, or four. So let's say we want to cut in A4. I'll go ahead and highlight that. Now when I hit overwrite, it just drops in the A4 clip uh, in the appropriate location. So by using this functionality, as I'm working with all of my different multicams, I can set the multicams by default to just showcase A1 and still have an easy workflow for getting into using A2, 3, or 4 as needed. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Inside Hollywood's Cutting Rooms on the Adobe Creative Cloud channel for more Premiere Pro tutorials and cutting room conversations.